What's happening, Star Wars fans? I am Dial here with some more rumors and speculation. So I'm sure you guys remember the Rogue Squadron movie that was, you know, the new Star Wars film that was going to be helmed by Patty Jenkins from the Wonder Woman films. Um, and I personally was really excited to see that. And yes, I know people want to bring up Wonder Woman 1984 and how bad it was. And, you know, I agree that movie was not very good. But what really got me excited for what she was going to do with the Rogue Squadron um, when I saw that uh, that trailer that she did with that teaser trailer, whatever it was, when she was talking on that like um, that plane dock and speaking about how his her father was a, a pilot and how much this movie meant to her, trying to make a pilot story, and she couldn't get the she couldn't get the right um, you know story for that. And then when um, Lucasfilm went to her to make a new Star Wars film that's when she got the inspiration and she you know she was you know actually went into the the um, X-Wing and stuff like that I thought that was a really cool like trailer to get us excited like that was you know that was the one movie I was really looking forward to but unfortunately that was put on the back burner after that announcement and that was the point where I did not believe that any Star Wars movie was going to come out after that point because you put this huge announcement there and getting us all excited for it only for them to say that oh we're not going to do it we're going to this has been delayed indefinitely like I, for those of you who don't know like I I have gotten to a point where it's like I I don't believe that any Star Wars movie is coming out. I don't believe that it, it, it will be made because they have done so many announcements of how many Star Wars films that they were going to make. Like they were supposed to do, uh, they were supposed to do a Boba Fett movie, but that ended up being a show. Uh, they're supposed to do a Lando film. They were supposed to do an Old Republic film. They were supposed to do a Kevin Feige produced Star Wars movie. They're supposed to do a Taika Waititi Star Wars film. They were supposed to have their rumors about a Ryan Johnson trilogy. Um, they just announced a Mandalorian film. Um, and then they're about to do a Ray movie, and then they were going to do a film on the first Jedi, and like they're just doing all these announcements, and we don't see any of these progress forward. So it's like I'm not going to believe anything is coming out until I see production or a trailer, and it's the same thing with this. However, there is something that came out recently with Patty Jenkins addressing the um, the situation with Rogue Squadron. Um, so apparently Patty Jenkins did an interview with the Talking Pictures podcast and she actually did an update on what's going on with uh, Rogue Squadron. And here's what she had to say. And I quote, when I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3 and I started working on that, we talked about, well, maybe I'll come back to Star Wars after Wonder Woman 3. So we started a deal for that to happen. When Wonder Woman 3 then went away... Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, we've got to finish this deal. We finished the deal right as the strike was beginning, so I now owe a draft for Star Wars. So that's pretty much saying that Lucasfilm and Patty Jenkins are still interested in making this Rogue Squadron movie and that she needs to submit a draft, a first draft for the film. So that means that Woke Squadron is still in the books. They still want to make it. And I want to be excited for this. I really do. Because I like that was the one movie I was looking forward to. So I should be happy that Woke Squadron is not completely canceled. However, I have been burned so many times that I can't 100% believe that they're going to get this movie done. Now I could be wrong. A year from now. Maybe a few months from now. We could probably see some more progression with this film. And we possibly could actually see this happen. But as of right now. Like. I, I'm at a. I believe it when I see it. I'm not going to hold my breath. For this movie to be officially coming out. Um. And I really, I really wish I wasn't this pessimistic about it. But as I said, it's just they've been, been doing so many announcements with the Star Wars projects. It's hard for me to really get excited. Um, and I feel like with Rogue Squadron, this is like the one film that, you know, 
I think that could help with, you know, telling a story outside of the Skywalker saga. And it doesn't have to be about Jedi. And we're, this is territory that they don't really put that much of an emphasis on. The actual X-Wing fighters and stuff like that. And, like, the ships battles. Like, because that's some of the best parts of Star Wars, right? So that's the story I'm really interested in seeing how Patty Jenkins will do. And how personal of a story that she's going to do with the characters and stuff like that. So that's a part of Star Wars that I would love to see them emphasize more. But it's all a matter of if it's going to happen. And if she is going to work on it, how much freedom is she actually going to get with this project? Because, you know, she had some issues with the Wonder Woman films. So, I don't know. Hopefully the same thing won't happen here. But we got to remind ourselves, it's Kathleen Kennedy still running the ship. So, we'll see what happens.